Good morning. I need to be transferred over to um, records, I believe. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I'm looking to go ahead and get the records when I was arrested in Monmouth County. Okay. I need to know exactly how I can go ahead and get, uh, attain those. Uh, where in Monmouth County? Yeah. Where in Monmouth County? What town? Oh, Long Branch. Oh, okay. You just need to get. Basically, basically. What you're gonna get is the uh, cover sheet of the arrest report. Okay, that's. That's fine. Actually, um, all I needed to know was to find out the exact um the exact year I was arrested. What's your last name? Washington. Lydell, L Y D E L L. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, what was the charge again? Uh, different things. Uh, criminal mischief, false imprisonment, and harassment. All right, thank you very much. Yeah. So, I'm going to be exposing a lot about Zephonix today, one of which is the fact that I've done time. I've done time. Um, we're going to talk about that a little bit in a minute here, but the reality of it is this. First of all, let's go ahead and talk about Brodio. Brodio, I thought your video was awesome, dude. Seriously. Um, since you play guitar, play sax, dude, one day we need to do a co-op. You know, maybe something for the gaming community because, you know, we don't do, you know, they don't, a lot of people don't do that here. You know, but anyway, uh, here's the thing. Something different, you know. But let's go ahead and approach the betrayers, you know, the betrayers here. Because the fun thing about it is that now, Sam of Level has pretty much already run his gambit with a lot of people. No one pretty much uh, trusts him anymore. So there's really not much to say about that one. It was my stupid to actually betray him to begin with. But the guy has lied um, and pretty much done so many things so many times. Betrayed a lot of people like Truth Setting You Free and a lot of people that no one trusts him anymore. You know, so there's nothing to say about that. Black Bond, however, is funny too because, you know, Black Bond pretty much betrayed the Zephonix, the one guy who has never did anything wrong to Black Bond, yet he had no problem betraying me. That's funny. That's really funny, dude. So let's go ahead and, um, so, I mean, I feel bad for the people who are around you now because now, for now on, the people who are around you, now they're kind of worried now because they're like, well, damn, if Black Bond was willing to portray Zephonix, you know, and Zephyr has never done anything to him. Who else is he willing to portray? Me? Someone? Who? Who is he willing to portray? Interesting, huh? Good job, Black Bond. It gets worse from there, but uh, let me go ahead and address something. For, first of all, they brought up a video, right? Now, they did this video where they were actually recording me. Or rather, they were recording the fact that um, they looked up on the internet, and the internet did not, uh, rather, uh, a website, and looked for my mugshot. The mugshot was not there of me getting arrested. Now, I actually just showed you and proved to you that I've been arrested before, yet my mugshot is not available. You know why? And that, then the first time, the other one, I actually did some time. I did a lot of time. For, well, not a lot, but I did some time for that one. But the reality of it is that just because the mugshot is not there does not necessarily mean that I did not go ahead and get arrested. It simply means that the mugshot is not there. Because, hey, the websites are just as good as the people who make them. That's number one. Number two, here's a factoid. You're not going to get a mugshot if you've just been in a holding cell, reality check. If you actually go ahead and listen to my video, I simply stated in there that Zephnix was was held for 14 hours. Held for 14 hours. It means that I didn't get locked up. Um, I didn't go ahead and have to wear the orange jumpsuits. None of that. None of that. 
The simple thing was is that I sat there and talked to a whole bunch of lawyers, went back to a holding cell, more lawyers, holding cell, detectives, holding cell, officers, holding cells, back and forth, mostly in a holding cell. You know? So no. And yeah, I was in cuffs, by the way. But the reality of it is that I did not take mugshots. You have to take mugshots in order for you to go ahead and see your mugshot. I'm just saying. So anyway, though, that's pretty much, you know, putting that one to bed right there, you know? And it's it's... It's sad, really, you know, you know, and it's like, I'm kind of, a lot of people like, oh, you want me hurt? I'm hurt. I am. Because, I mean, these are people who I trusted, you know, and in the end, I got shot in the foot for that one. I mean, for basically trusting people, you know, and Black Bond's got the nerve to go ahead and try to, um, you know, try to expose anyone. This is the same guy who makes videos talking about you're a, you're a douche or you're stupid if you go ahead and try to go ahead and prove yourself uh, to another man over the internet, you know, or do anything like that. When this guy tried to sit there and call himself a school teacher and try to go ahead and then um, call himself a, what is he, call him a school teacher and that he had students and all that. Oh, he had to fill out some homework and all some bullshit like that. The reality of it is he's a glorified, over glorified, underpaid, latchkey babysitter who goes ahead and pretty much works between three to five or something about that, you know, and that's pretty much all he does, you know, and that's all he does trying to send him call, call himself a school teacher I think if you was a school teacher you'd be educated enough to know about how the justice system works i'm being honest with you i'm being honest with you dead honesty with you you know if you were as smart as you thought you was and the reality of it is this a lot, i mean if you was as smart as you thought you were then you would be never called that you wouldn't be a fucking drone and have to follow seventh level and so do and then make it worse, dude. Seventh level owned you too. Because seventh level actually sat there and kept his video private, but then got you to upload it. Why did he do that? What, um simple. Because seventh level knew that there's a good chance that he could be wrong. So his video is sitting there up in a private area while your video is out there in the public and you just got exposed. Good job, buddy. Good job. Idiot, man. Like it's, it's amazing. And then what one thing about it is, man, is just like I'm gonna end it with this. Hey, uh, Hardy Thompson was 100% right about you, Black Bond. All jokes aside, he's 100% right. Because you call Zephnix whatever you want to call him. A liar. And the funny thing is, is that, to be honest with you, dude, it was an email done. You know, I did that, I, I, I did that email. I did that email in 10 minutes while I was on the phone, while I was at work. So my 100% focus was even on the email. But the fact of the matter is that nobody could prove it wrong until... Um, seventh level actually got me in a Skype conversation with me saying it was wrong. So let me let me let me just let you guys know at one hundred percent. Seventh level didn't find no no things in it. He couldn't figure out if it was wrong either. He had to ask. You know, he had to get me to say it if it was wrong or not, if it was fake or not. Rather, so no. Zephonix, um, rather seventh level didn't expose Zephonix. Zephonix exposed Zephonix. Don't get that wrong, you know. And besides, let me put it this way. And I mean, I'm not toot my own horn, but toot toot, motherfucker. Let me put it this way. I'm a guy who has a criminal record. I'm a guy who just recently, recently got his GED. Yet, for a good while now, I've had better jobs than both of you. You ever wonder why? Because I can run a good game, son. Recognize. So... You can say whatever you want to say about that whole thing regarding the emails, but here's a fact. One, you couldn't prove it wrong. I had to prove it wrong for you. Number two, and this is the biggest one. You can call me a liar, you know, say whatever you want, but you know what? You can never call me someone who betrayed his friends. 